All right, Kay, let's try it again. A tree toad loved a she toad who lived up in a tree. He was a two toed tree toad, but a three toed toad was she. Ah, a tree toad loved a she toad who lived up in a tree. He was a two toed toad tree. Three. Kendall, why do I have to do this? Because, Kay, you don't speak the language here. You have to practice. You're always complaining that things aren't great around here. So, you got to try to fit in a little bit more. Besides, do you, don't you want to know what's going around, going on? You can participate and talk with everybody. I don't care about that, Kendall. I just want to leave. Kay, you have to stop saying that. And besides, if you really do want to leave here... You better know the language. Otherwise, people are going to know that you're not from here and they're just going to try to bring you right back. <sighs> Fine. I'll keep practicing. Welcome back, everybody, to Dance of the Elements with Kay. Shout out to those of you who watched the last episode, our cinematic prequel of Kay's, like, abduction in the death of her parents. <laughs> it was so exciting, and a lot of people watched it. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. So, um, we are going to continue on with Kay. She is bonded with Wallace. She's trying to get some bonding with Kendall, though the road is not not that smooth oh can she talk to oh I guess we have to eat alone anyway so we're gonna see what the world has in store for Kay today and um, we still have to see what's gonna happen to that fallout when she last showed her powers in the arena on accident all right well let's see what happens So Ash is just around. He is giving some advice to Kay and to Akil. Kay is actually level 7 of her physical skill already. I believe it maxes out at 10. So uh, we haven't even really been doing it. Um, I've not really been playing. Oh, she's not that good, I guess. Um, but uh, I guess it's maybe due to her kind of just not really having much else to do around here uh, oh well what's this guy doing here um hello hi Bashar what's what's going on uh so those of you who watched the second to last episode know that Kay had some issue and uh Maybe we can uh, overhear this conversation a little bit. See what Bashar, who is part of the 13, living in the Glass Palace, is doing here. Hmm. Well, Ash, our young protege really made quite the spectacle the other night. Uh, yeah, I guess it was a bit of a surprise. A bit of a surprise, Ash? That's a bit of an understatement, don't you think? She breathed her own fire. Do you know how rare that is? How many fire dancers do you know can do that? I've seen my fair share over the years. Listen, Ash. What you need to do, you need to get Kay ready. We are going to increase her training. There's no excuses. I already spent a lot of money buying this girl to begin with, and I wondered why, and now we know just how important she is. This could change everything for us. Look, Kay's not going to be used as some gambling bit in the arena. I mean, she'll be a fire dancer, but that's no reason to work her harder than others. Listen, if you want to stay in control of her training, this is what you're going to do. Otherwise, I'll find someone else who do it. Capiche? Is it weird to say capiche, you guys? I don't know. Um, well, Kay, if you keep falling off the jungle gym like that, they're not going to want you anyway. But, um, it does seem like we have a threat here because, um, Bashar, 
wants us to train extra hard. We're almost maxed out on our skill already, even though we are on some foolishness today. I wonder if it's because she's tired. Let's, uh, well, she'll stop doing this. It's late anyway. She can go to bed. But, um, I don't know. Like, Bashar really sounded like he wants to use our powers to become a real force in the arena so we better <laughs> hurry up if we want to get out of here <laughs> so Kay and Wallace got up a little extra early so that they could train this morning now they are becoming partners in crime right now <laughs> look at them laughing maniacally now this is because Kay has overheard Bashar talking about using her more in the arena. So she has to get out of here. Now, she and Wallace are going to maybe formulate a plan to start get, getting some of these doors unlocked. Now, um, I believe Kay is almost at level 8 physical skill. And I'm going to count the becoming partners in crime as gaining a best friend oh no k is sick look at that as gaining a best friend um because now they can do more interactions together and it's going to help them complete that distraction that they have to complete so let's actually go down into the catacombs and unlock our first door which is this one uh unlock Yay! So Kay can now come to this part of the catacombs. It's scary down here. Should we have her come down here at all? Eh, I'm scared. We're not going to do that. So <laughs> instead, we are going to, let's see, it's Saturday. Let's see if we can get um, Wallace to get a, make a plan with us to complete a distraction. Oh, look at that. We just hit level eight motor skill. So we are almost maxed out for Kay's physical ability. Oh my gosh. What is happening here? Who is this dopey little kid? Hey, little red. What's got you so down? Who was that guy visiting you yesterday? Like you'd even care, Akil. He was talking about increasing my training, but I'm going to get out of here way before then. Increasing your training? For what? He'll never beat me anyway. If you're planning to get out of here, you better hurry, because I'm about to pound you into the ground. Oh my gosh, that Akil is always so mean. But you know what? We are level 8 physical skill now, so... <laughs> Maybe it's time to show him exactly what we can do. You know what? Shoot. You know what, Akil? I'm tired of you always talking junk about me. You don't even know. So you didn't give me a chance to be my friend or anything like that. You just think you can do whatever you want because your dad's a big shot around here. <laughs> think, Little Red. My dad's not the only big shot around here, okay? I was born from greatness. Shut up! You're always just doing whatever you want. You're not the only strong person around here. <laughs> and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. You think you're so tough? I've had just about enough of you. Akil, stop! Uh, uh, stay out of this, Wallace! Uh, he's gonna get what he deserves! Uh, 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 uh. So shut your mouth and stop trying me all the time. <laughs> you know what? This is the last you've seen me, little red. Oh, snap, you guys! Kay handled her business. And like a boss, she showed Akil what is what. Maybe he'll stop talking junk, but I don't know. Looks like he won't. So, real talk, K has to win a fight. And so we just unlocked another door. We are in here. <laughs>
Oh, uh, Wallace, did you see that? Kay, what are you thinking? Are you crazy? You just said that that guy, Bashar, wants to like increase your training is watching you ever closer. But it's fine. He was he had it coming. What do you mean? Aren't you on my side? I am. I just think you have to be careful. All right. Well, fine. Maybe I went a little overboard. But we're going to get out of here anyway. Listen, Kay, we got to get moving. So let's go ahead and make a plan. All right, Kay, so what I'm thinking is we got to get the keys to the gate in the catacombs. So I, when they, when they brought me here, there was a, I don't know, there was a guy who had a bunch of keys. Like he had a ring and it had tons of keys on it. So if we complete a distraction, we can steal them. Yeah, yeah. All right. So I'm going to plan a food fight. And when we, and when the food fight's running on Monday, you have to steal the keys. All right? Yeah. That's what we're going to do. So we have a plan. Okay? Get over here right now. Uh, that must be Ash. Hey, Ash, how's your day going? Kay, don't give me that, okay? I heard that you attacked Akil today. What is the meaning of that? He started with me. Well, Kay, you need to learn to control that temper. You can't act like that around here. Understood? <sighs> Ash, you don't really want me to be strong, do you? You just want me to do what everyone else around me says. Well, Kay, that's the part of being a, f a fire dancer. Once you're strong enough that you can win enough to buy back your freedom, then you can do as you please. Kind of. Now take a bath and I don't want any more of this foolishness. Understood? Fine. So you guys, Kay is so stinky. Um, <laughs> we did get in trouble for fighting with the keel. But, um, to me, it was worth it. Like, what do you guys think? Akil just thinks he can do whatever he wants just because his dad is freaking Timber. But, I don't care. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, we will see if there are some repercussions for uh, our behavior or whatever. Um, we're gonna see what if our prank it goes well on Monday um, because real talk we are about to get out of here K opened two doors today we are almost maxed out of our um, physical skill and we are in here so thanks you guys for tuning in for another episode of dance of the elements we are gonna be back with them on Monday to see how our prank goes if we can get these keys and uh, Oh, we're killing it. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for all of our upcoming episodes. We in here.